Born with a famous family name and lineage, the grandson of former Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos plans to revolutionize the landscape of sports management in the country with his sports agency, Espiritu Manoto Basketball Management, which he co-owns with Marvin Espiritu being the son of the Hall of Fame PBA coach Tommy Manoto and Ilocos Norte Governor Aimee Marcos Manoto has brought opportunities and challenges to this ISM middle school basketball coach who is also a UE Red Warriors assistant manager. I'm so privileged to visit the crib of sports agent Matthew Joseph Manoto. Come on guys, let's go. Hi, Matthew. Hey, Nicole. Hey, PTV viewers. What's going on? Welcome to my house, my humble home. Uh, come right in if you like. Here is the entrance area. Uh, to the right, you can see my bike, uh, which I use to get around the fort, which is, I think, ideal because I save gas, save, oh. save parking, uh, get a little bit of workout. Uh, I guess to your left and to your right is the uh, kitchenette area which I've never used. I haven't cooked a single meal here, unfortunately. This was a cute picture of me when I was at my cutest, I guess. Uh, and I was oh, still, yeah. still fair. I don't know how I was that fair back then. I'm, I'm pretty Moreno for good now. Uh, so that's my mom, obviously. How long have you been living here? Um, I think about two years, ever since I moved back from the States. Uh, got my own place. Uh, wanted some independence, I guess, for my parents. Yeah. How does it feel to um, you know, live on your own? Um, I love it. It's just like, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about certain things. I mean, the, the, the drawback is I don't have a maid, yeah. uh, which I'm proud to say, because uh, I do a little bit of the cleaning. Uh, but then obviously it gets messy. I wouldn't have it any other way, you know. Uh, I, I like the independence, I like the freedom, I like the privacy, I guess, you know. What would you say is your favorite spot at your home? Uh, I'd say either the bed or the couch, uh, usually on the bed and using my computer, or uh, on the couch, obviously, watching some TV or also on the computer. So, just the most comfortable spots, obviously. All right, guys, now we're in my bedroom. Uh, this is where the magic happens, right? That's, where all, that's what they all say. But uh, no, not really. Uh, it's pretty small, obviously. You can see my shoes over there. Um, I have some Hanford stuff that they gave me. Uh, so you guys should, uh, I'm actually indoors Hanford. Uh, so you guys should uh, go out there and buy Hanford. Uh, sorry for the shameless plug. But um, there's my computer, obviously. Uh, I have to use that very often. Uh, wardrobe's over here, shoes are there. Uh, you can see I got my LeBrons over there, uh, then some formal shoes and sneakers, the basics. So what else do you do here at home when you're here? Uh, mostly watch NBA games, PBA games, college games, try and scout for new clients. Uh, watch DVDs, obviously. I'm on the internet a lot. I think uh, all kids uh, my generation were all addicted to social media, right? I'm part of the MTV generation, so uh, checking that a lot. Uh, on this Lazy Boy couch, which is actually pretty functional. Uh, both of the sides come up to a Lazy Boy, oh. so it's, pr it's pretty good. Uh, besides that, uh, I guess I eat. I eat, sleep, you know, all the basics. So, um, what do you like to do um, when you're not working? Uh, Play basketball, I mean, yeah, exercise a little bit. Um, obviously, like, all the regular stuff, like watching movies, listening to music, uh, hanging out with friends. Uh, just like having fun, pretty much. So, uh, you know, I find exercise, uh, obviously, with the adrenaline rush and such, uh, competing and joking around and uh, competing with friends, it's fun. How would you describe yourself as a person? Um, pretty easygoing, uh, pretty level-headed, uh, 
I don't know. I don't want to say any other adjectives that may... I, I feel like I'm floating my own boat too much. <laughs> I guess I'm very uh, eclectic in that I've, I've grown up in, in various places. So I, I feel like, you know, uh, my background has kind of shaped who I am, obviously. But I obviously, you know, have, my Filipino values remain, obviously, because uh, my mom taught me to be a good boy. All right, guys, now we're in my living room area, or here's my desk, I guess, uh, my dining table. Uh, and here's my TV, obviously. Uh, those are some of my trophies, which I use to bolster my ego when I'm feeling down. Uh, my printer, uh, some DVDs, obviously, and some books. Uh, I have all of your guys' favorites, like Braveheart and Gladiator. Uh, but I actually love comedies, uh, so I usually try and just turn on a DVD at night and just have a few laughs before I go to bed. Uh, there's kind of my uh, whiteboard, which I use to uh, organize my thoughts and business plans. Uh, but it doesn't update; it doesn't get updated enough. So you can see some ballers' names as well as some of our clients who uh, try to make sure we take care of, obviously, because uh, we're in the business of uh, customer service at the end of the day in, in terms of uh, sports agents. <laughs> So I can see the trophies over there. Um, these awards are from what? Like, what sports do you do? Or? Uh, they're almost predominantly golf. Uh, I actually grew up as a very competitive golfer. Uh, my dad's actually one of the greatest amateurs, I guess you can say, in the Philippines. Um, um, so I, from, I started playing golf when I was about three years old. Uh, first tournament when I was five. So uh, golf was really my main sport. Uh, and uh, I played for the junior national team. Uh, as well as uh, NCAA golf in the States. So that's really my main sport, but I actually love basketball way more because uh, I quit basketball to play golf. So kind of a frustrated basketball player. That's why, uh, thankfully, I work in the industry now. So just like every other. You're quite tall. You can be a basketball player. Yeah, I always wish I could have played UAP ball. Uh, I don't think I would have made PBA, but UAP would have been fun. Uh, but I went to school in the States, so uh, the competition there is a little stronger. Yeah. <laughs> so it's harder, yeah. What do you want to say to those people who, I mean, young people who want to be like you, like, you know, be an agent or a manager someday for athletes? Well, I mean, in terms of basketball, we'd love to work with anyone, you know what I mean? Uh, if, if you, uh, I guess, forward us any recruits or players, uh, you know, we'd love to work with you uh, and possibly always to compensate you to build a relationship for the future. Uh, but in terms of... Uh, Becoming an agent, I mean, obviously you have to know your sport. Uh, you have to know the intricacies of the sport because you're talking to people who obviously, you know, are embedded in the sport. So you have to know what you're talking about. Um, and at the end of the day, as I said, it, it's customer service, you know, so you have to keep your, your guys happy. Thank you so much, Matthew. I enjoyed our conversation today. It was fun getting to know you. It was my pleasure. Thanks for coming. Thank you. See you guys. Bye, PTV. Thanks. Sports agent Matthew Minotok is the man with a vision when it comes to producing the Philippines' best in basketball. Carving his own niche in the basketball world, he is definitely making his famous parents proud. Homecar continues to inspire featuring sports personalities, their dreams, their passions, and their homes. Thanks for watching. This is Nicole Ramos. See you guys next week.